high most women have body positivity challenges maybe dysmorphia not feeling like we're in our bodies or not liking something about our bodies and um and we work on it in different ways at different times and i've been really enjoying feeling comfortable showing up looking like a haggard old bog witch <laughs> because i fought hard <laughs> to be myself and just like all of us do and it's funny because what other women are pushing towards or against uh, when we become near each other we sometimes like feel the pushing towards this or against that and get confused and think of it as a judgment but and and so some of us are very judgy i definitely have judgy times and not one of those people who tries to pretend like you could transcend judgment because that's just ridiculous for me um right now body positivity is being uh willing <laughs> to be um dysfunctional in public because that's a huge and scary thing. When I lose the ability to walk and talk, I've had people want to dial 911 and um, they seize authority over my autonomy and agency because that's what you should do if it looks like someone's having a stroke. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's been 10 years and knock on the sawdust in my head but i so far haven't had an actual real stroke just uh, several thousand um stroke looking things <laughs> and um and yeah so 10 years into that i'm like woohoo i'm gonna show up in public um gonna look how i look if i look sick and tired it's because sometimes i am <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready to um, engage my inner um, sexy burlesque persona yet. Uh, she's scheduled to emerge later. <laughs> right now I'm enjoying um, Bogwitch and I'm, and I'm also showing up to uh, many of my dance classes embodied as my inner child and I'm, I'm just not ready for my inner child to be sexualized in in my dance healing journey <laughs> so and i and for those of you who wondered why i haven't posted a video in like 10 months is because i was very very unwell during the last several videos that I posted. And I needed to take time to um, watch some of the footage that I filmed and sort of just quality check, but it's not really about quality. It's more about like, gah! Is it gonna make me go gah? Um, does it feel like it's supportive and healthy for me to post certain videos or does it just seem like it's leaving me open to some kind of problematic uh, attack or whatever <laughs> awkwardly learning in public is welcome but out and out just you know showing up and causing harm is not something that I'm willing to do. So even though I film myself looking disabled in public, <laughs> there are times when I'm just not, I'm not posting that. I don't owe that to anyone. It's, um, it's a, 
it's a you and you game <laughs> and you get to decide what you're doing and why you're doing it and I'm having fun I'm playing my game and I feel like I'm winning <laughs> I love you guys bye